In this video, I'm going to be talking about my new favourite camera accessory. The Cine Saddle. Here's the story. So what is a Cine Saddle? Well, essentially, it's a camera support system that allows you to go handheld. Recently, I've been doing some video shoots where I needed to go handheld. Typically, when I'm filming, I'm normally using a tripod. However, when I need to get certain types of shots, I like to go handheld because a tripod isn't always convenient. When you go handheld, it just allows you that little bit more freedom and flexibility in getting your shots. Recently, I did a shoot where I had to go pretty much entirely handheld, and by the end of the shoot, my arms were really fatigued, and the next day, they were actually a little bit sore. Yeah, I know, boohoo, uh, toughen up. However, this highlighted to me that there has to be a better way to get handheld shots, and I then discovered the Cine Saddle. And the Cine Saddle is great. You can sling it over your shoulder and neck, and then use it as a support for your camera to get those handheld shots. You can also put it on the ground or on a table to get a static shot if you need to without pulling out that tripod. It also has a car mount unit as well, so you can tie the Cine Saddle with your camera to the hood of your car to get moving shots while you're driving around. I haven't used this feature yet, and I probably never will, but it's nice to know that it's there. And another thing that I like about the Cine Saddle is it can fit a variety of camera types. I've used the Panasonic EVA 1 with this and also the Panasonic S1. Two different sized cameras, but both work with the Cine Saddle. And the great thing about the Cine Saddle is it doesn't matter what camera brand you use, you can use Panasonic, Sony, Canon, Pentax, if you really want to, any camera will work with this accessory. But one extra thing that I've done with this Cine Saddle is I've gotten a car seat pad. Uh, just so when I put it on and around my neck, I've got something a little bit softer to rest on my neck and shoulder. Uh, otherwise, you've just got the strap and that can be a little bit hurty sometimes. So let's now take a look at some footage. And this is me using the Panasonic EVA 1 with the Canon 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 IS Mark II lens. And I was recording a band singing Christmas carols. So by the end of the shoot, my arms weren't tired, which was great. My neck didn't hurt as well because it wasn't really that heavy. And this Cine Saddle is incredibly light. When you look at the Cine Saddle, you might think, oh gosh, that's a big piece of gear and I'm probably not gonna use it because it's heavy and it's just not gonna be practical, but it's actually really light and it's really practical to get the shots that you need when you're going handheld. When I was on my shoots and using the Cine Saddle, I found it really easy just to pick it up and then get going with my handheld shots. When you're using other support systems like an Easy Rig or a gimbal, there's always that setup time that slows things down and can be a little bit of a barrier and an annoyance to actually use the gear that you've got. With the Cine Saddle, all you need to do is sling it over your shoulder and then you're pretty much good to start recording. So there wasn't really a barrier for me not to use this piece of gear. Overall, I really enjoyed the experience using the Cine Saddle. Initially, I was a little bit skeptical. I didn't really know whether I'd like to use it or if it would really be much of a benefit for my kind of shooting. But after using it on several different shoots, I've found that it gives me great results and I'm really pleased with this purchase. The biggest barrier that I see people having with purchasing a Cine Saddle is the price. At 365 Australian dollars, it's not exactly cheap. But for me, I see this as an investment. It's a piece of camera gear that's going to improve the footage that I'm gonna be recording. It's gonna eliminate those micro jitters and shaky footage that I could possibly get without the Cine Saddle. And overall, I'm going to have better shots, which will produce better videos and have more clients that are pleased with the work that I'm producing. It's also another friendly reminder that a lot of video production gear is not necessarily cheap. Like C stands, they're a necessary thing that you need to purchase and invest into. And once you've done that initial investment into that gear, you've got it pretty much for the rest of your life. And that will do it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel for more videos on video creation in the future.